so chaos. Critical hit. Oh man, I need that fire resistance. Did I have it? Okay, this, this, this. Of your own case of your weapon. Ooh. Damn it. Oh man. Okay, better drop this. Need to get the across. Oh yeah, we need to get across. And I'm finding a way. So what there? That's alright. Oh no wonder. Cross claw. Oh, this is easy. Gosh, this thing just blocked away. I can't move. Yes. Oh, that's craft. <laughs> we we'll up a good sweat. Awesome. A few moments later. Where else? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. 
sorry. How do I get them across? I hope this is the right way. Hey, aren't you coming up here to help me? Oh, I guess I need to build a bridge for them. Oh yes, this one, this one. <laughs> Finally, I figured this out. Did you do it? Yeah, come on. Quickly, your spirit is waiting for you, Aurea. Run faster. <laughs> the cauldron wow so deep down do wait the console All right, I guess. Wait, yes, it's all right. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. And it may have found one. Guess we are getting closer. Okay. Can he chow again? to be melted down. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. I'll help you. Who is this? Ah, uh, uh, I wanna grab that mushroom plant, but now my. Then. Oh. I'm gonna turn around. Choice. Oh, why I can't do a silent strike with this? Okay, I hope that's... I hope that's it.
was close. Okay. <laughs> nice work. And now where am I? Okay, let's override this. Oh shit, override at the wrong side. <laughs> Yes. Hey, stop moving. I need to go up there. This is like a puzzle time. I notice I'm kind of quiet now. <laughs> oh shit! I don't know how, but just try. Okay, this works. Oh, the lava. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. Okay, yeah, I did. I don't think I can get over there. at this area. Alright, I should grab a ride. Okay, yes, it's the right way. <coughs> oh, finally. <sighs> After so long. I wanna get out from this place. <laughs> Go. 
do your job. I hope so. Ooh, can you charm? Oh, this is so sad. Um, I'll read this by myself because I feel like it is going to run out of time. Is it as bad as I think it is? Will go be with your sister and tell Sian that I say goodbye? Oh, okay, I'll read this by my own. by my own as well move <laughs> over there we must destroy Wait, the socks. The frozen wow's tax data points is finally full right now. <laughs> um, okay, I'll read this by my own as well. I know I have repeated this sentence many, many times, and it's so annoying. I know. <laughs> Go grab all these crates. There is no blue light here. It's a spirit presence. We'll only the demon. It's both. But we have to find out. <laughs> this again. But seriously, I do enjoy um, solving this kind of puzzles. Okay, then hey, the other way. Possible security event detected. Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Security threat confirmed. Then what? This one is faulty. Even tougher. not connecting
I'm trying to stay focused, guys. So I'm kind of quiet. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> uh, I guess this should be. even worse than the earlier one Finally, it worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Aurea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core channel. I will try to read the signal strength. One has been closed, but I am in Okay, I'll function. Oh. Wow, the demon is so strong. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. Yeah. I would ask you... 
Let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. It's so nice to see both brothers and sisters up good terms, in the good terms. <sighs> then lead us into battle. Yes, I believe we can do this. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Festus is happy about it. <laughs> uh, it's over there. Yeah. Cyan said something about restraints. Is that what the tower is? Oh, what? Ah, uh, those noise. Oh my gosh. The tower. I need to override this tower. I wanna see the notebook. <laughs> uh, fire claw. Is this the one? Freeze. All, all shock. Okay, must be this. I'll give you fire. This is indeed a big boss fight. Hey, hey, hey. Oh man. Oh, I must not give him fire. Okay, let's get away from here. Oh my gosh.
pull your chest armor off. Holding something. Oh my gosh, get away. This is so intense. Just a little bit more to go. Oh man, not enough wires to kill that bitch. I mean to tie him down, not kill. <laughs> Him busy. this quick yeah 
Yes. Computer is out of space again. Twenty minutes later. Okay, guys, I am back again. And let's do this. of my modifications okay Got all these items I need more wires that's all right I guess Eloy is going to be okay. Don't. Spirit. Oh no, Zion, is she going to me. sacrifice herself? Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera oh stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Oh no, I hope Aurea is I'm okay. free. Oh she You must escape. Got no split. 
Uh, oh, uh, no. My sister. <sighs> oh, my gosh. This entire place is going to go. Our talk. Our talk. Don't tell me you want to die with her. Artuk. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Artuk. Yes. Be strong. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He couldn't bury his sisters. Uh, I mean, properly. Oh my gosh. It's the only way. I hope you can make it. Ooh, nice. Please tell me this is the cutscene until the end. <laughs> I don't want to control. Oh my gosh. This is so intense. Give me a top bar attack. Now. Post me up. I need explosive ammo! A bomb! Quick! Now I'm like watching a movie. So interesting. <laughs> Great Ooh. I'm out! Oh no! Okay, <laughs> they are fine. <sighs> Please get up. Check on him. Is he okay? Okay, he's okay. <sighs> But too bad Arata can't bury his sister properly. <sighs> Rhea's gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song.
Oh, return to Aurea's retreat. Ah, finally. Ooh, this whole map of the DLC is cleared. So nice. I am back. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. Her last message. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Oh. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. Oh, I almost cried. <laughs> my tears are in my eyes. We can resume <sighs> any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. <sighs> Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Sai knows about me. I want to talk to Arata first. Hold on. Please don't do anything silly. My chieftain. Just Eli. <laughs> chieftain. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you'd never come along. I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Aurea would be alone. And the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. She was willing to fight Lord at what she accomplished. Okay, this. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, or where I can't follow. Yes, I have Besides. important mission to do. It already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Oh Two my gosh. Them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically the nuke. <laughs> <sighs> Time to talk to Cyan. Should be interesting. You, Aaron. Yes, this. Um, maybe I'll do this by my own. He's not there anymore. I wonder how he can get down so fast. Maybe teleport. Go talk. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, 
I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. Oh. I thought I was familiar this with AI the emotion, knows too. but this is something new. So yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. And we can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. With Alice perhaps so even like colleagues. <laughs> colleagues? What are you? So are you an artificial intelligence, Saya? Yes, AI. A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Yes, saved you. Fire this break. fire break project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption. Yes, I can report the project was a success and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Saya, and we blew up the cauldron took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not like <laughs> in my that. duties. For I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you colleagues? know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years <laughs> after his tenure Kenny ended. Chow. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Okay, thank you. Was okay, the peace. Hephaestus destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To uh, be precise, really? it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One Ooh. I've never been able to trace. So while losing the Remote cauldron SS. A setback, <laughs> it's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. You and Hephaestus? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus <laughs> sought to slay me to its network anxiety. and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that says terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Aurea as well. All right. I That's think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, 
Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Okay, why does Hephaestus why want does to Hephaestus keep- Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Yeah. Machines that are clearly <laughs> servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fire claws oh. are discouraging, that's for sure. What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants. I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. Okay, okay. Stay calm. <laughs> I found something that I calmed the machine. A strange yeah. piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. Okay, the flowers. The strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers. And so like many flowers topics. <laughs> There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And <laughs> after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you ask nice about poetry. these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is Flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. <laughs> but what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. Okay. Uh, Aurea? Mm, meant a lot to Aurea. 
Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Yes. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her as I am. But she was determined. Aratak. How is Aratak doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Araya, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. Okay, other questions? Ooh, this is so many. <laughs> Yellowstone. World, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Yeah. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow? CEO of Faro Automated Systems. Oh, that's his full name. <laughs> Mr. Faro was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. The benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Faro spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <laughs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. Elizabeth Sobek. Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know. Oh. I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. All right. What, what was, was it like? like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was <laughs> created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. Upheaval. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources but these stemmed from one cause catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the earth so there wasn't enough room for people on the whole earth yes billions were displaced and millions perished as much as 20 percent of the global population until the clawback so the clawback better, for a little while at least yes these crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least, that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. 
It seems my assessment was premature. Were there yeah, many it's... artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes, in many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring <laughs> stations to military grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. <laughs> Do you know anything Damn. about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. Okay, There's a room east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Those technologies are so high-tech, man. Okay, back. Farewell. Get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Araya. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, <laughs> yes. Uh, take it gently. Life yes. is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, <laughs> I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Okay, will you Cyan. Return and tell me about your experiences in this new world. I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. Yes, I'll come back to you next time. When you Cyan, wait. I spoke with Anita with, with Dr. Sandoval. She this quest is done. Oh, I can override those I machines. I Conquer the mountain. Okay, I didn't to focus on the audio. <laughs> AI is afraid of being I'm alone. So human like. We made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent. So intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable. What you're feeling, the fear, it's a sign of your 
capabilities. And it means you're strong enough to overcome it. Remember that. You're strong. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up. Yeah. And protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. Yeah, I can sleep. I will carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, Dr. Chow? Yes. I, I need to go be with my sister. Oh, my he's very sad. May I make a small request of you, Dr. Chow? Yes. Anything. Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. Oh, this Cyan acted like a child. So adorable and he's and she's so afraid to be alone and needs someone to accompany her. How sweet. <laughs> and this mission is very long and the conversations are very long too. And it is so sad to see Aurea has passed away because she has sacrificed herself to save this AI Cyan. And yeah, so it's a pity to see Aratak yeah, to be alone without having a sister beside him is really sad okay um, I guess I have done all the quests for the DLC yep so uh, the only quest I have right now is the main mission yeah it's time to go back to the main mission I can't wait I think I am missing playing those quest back in the old map <laughs> yeah okay guys if you guys enjoy don't forget to give me a like and leave your comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more horizon zero dawn and i hope to see you in the next one bye